to the world in association with the Right Eye Productions broadcast. This is Thai at Night. It's Christmas Eve. It's, it's the one night of the year when we all act a little nicer. We, we smile a little easier. We, we cheer a little more. Merry Christmas and happy holidays, y'all. Coming in loud and clear from Australia. Merry Christmas and happy holidays from California. Merry Christmas. Happy Christmas and happy holidays from the UK. Merry Christmas to you. Let's do this. It's Christmas time, and this is Tie at Night. All right. Welcome in to another edition <laughs> of Tie at Night. <laughs> Winding down the Christmas episodes here. Marcos. Good evening, buddy. How about you, brother? Merry Christmas, buddy. All right. So we're going yes. to... Play back an archive, dig into the vault, so to speak. My daughter at the time was four years old. Now, this is a special reading of Twas the Night Before Christmas. And let me tell you a quick story here. Marcus, we got on time? Yes. All right. So, little E came to me with a book in her hand. And she knew I was in radio because she'd already been on radio. She was four years old. She talked on the radio quite a few times already at this point. And so she came to me. Uh, she, she was visiting with me. I had gone through the divorce. So she, she was vi- uh, visiting with me over the weekend. And she brought this book to me. She said, Daddy, can, can we read this book? And I said, of course. I had no idea what the book was at the time. She pointed to my studio. I had uh, I was off for the weekend from the terrestrial station, but I did have a uh, an immaculate uh, home studio recording uh, area, and she pointed to that. She said, "Hey, Daddy, can, can you record me?" I was like, "All right." This, you know, I'm thinking in the back of my mind. My wheels are turning. I'm like, "Hey, <laughs> this may be something pretty cool," and so. She opens up this book. She shows me the cover, and it's "Twas the Night Before Christmas." Yeah, iconic. Come on, families all across the world read this story, and I figure, all right, let me go ahead and record this. Now, keep in mind, again, I say this is years ago. She was four years old. She's mush. Yeah, <laughs> she's much older. Older now, okay, and uh, <laughs> but nonetheless, I thought it was the sweetest thing. She she made her way through it for the most part. But here's the funny part: uh, we were in Alabama at the time. I was doing radio. Her mom is very southern, and little E kind of picked up on the southern accent, if you will. Uh, and you'll hear that in several of her words. <laughs> so please uh, stand by, listen to this. It's my four-year-old daughter, Little E. At the time, we're talking ten plus years ago, reading "Twas the Night Before Christmas." And I hope you, wherever you are, listening to us tonight across the miles, coast to coast, and around the world. I wish you a very merry Christmas and a happy New Year. I hope you enjoy this as much as I do. Here you go. As the night before Christmas, I read back Amy Hunter. Was the night before Christmas when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stocking was hung by the chimney with care in hopes that Saint Nicholas soon be there. The children was nestled all snug in their beds while big in the sugar farm danced in their head. And Mama in her clutches and I and my cat had settled our brains for a long winter's night. But out on the lawn there arose such a clatter. I sprang from the bed to see what the matter. Away to the window, I flew like a flash to open the shutters and 
Throughout the shaft, the moon on the breath of the new falling snow gave the lust of midday as it fell out. Well, what am I wondering? I should appear, but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer with little old driver. So lovely and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick, more rapid than Eagle. His coursers would came, and he whistled, and he shouted, and called them by name. No Dasher, no Dasher, no Prancer and Dixon, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donna and Rick. It blitzing to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Well, dash away, dash away, dash away all! Oh, dry leaves that before, the wild hurricane fly. When they met an obstacle, mount to the sky, to up to the housetop. And of course they flew with a sleigh full of toys, and St. Nicholas too. And then, and a twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my hand and was turning around down the chimney, <laughs> St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot. And his clothes was all tarnished with ashes and shut. <laughs> Zut. And the ball and toys, he had fun to his back. And he looked like a pillow. This opened his pack. His eyes how they twinkled. His dimple was merry. His cheeks like roses. His nose like a cherry. His jaw little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard on his chin was white as snow. The step of the pipe, he had tied in his teeth, and the smoke in the suckle, his hair like a wreath. He had a broad face, and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, and right jolly a little. And I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I have nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his walk and fed all the stockings. Then turned with a jerk, then laid his finger beside his nose and giving a nod. Up the chimney he rode. He sprang to his sleigh. To his team gave a whistle, and away all they flew, like a down of a thistle. But I heard him scream, "Ew!" He drove out of sight. Happy Christmas to all, and to all a good night. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year from all of us at Tie at Night. This has been another edition of Tie at Night. Happy Christmas and Happy Holidays from the UK. Merry Christmas and a Happy Holidays. Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. Yes, indeed. Thank you so very, very much. I hope you enjoyed that rendition. Uh, way back, probably... Gosh, 10, 12 years ago now, uh, my then four-year-old daughter, when I was married, uh, going through a divorce, she was uh, visiting me and wanted to record herself and record Twas the Night Before Christmas. So, look, hey, <laughs> that is going to be saved for a lifetime. So, nonetheless, listen, wherever you are tonight, we thank you very much for listening to Tie at Night. I hope you enjoyed uh, the past year of episodes that we've done. And we'll have one more show before the end of the year. And that'll be a montage, just kind of a best of version, kind of a highlight reel, if you will. Uh, and that's it. 
But this here will be the end of the Christmas run that we've done, four or five uh, episodes here. And you can go back and listen to them on YouTube. Uh, the channel is Tie at Night Radio, and night is spelled N-I-T-E. So Tie at Night Radio. You can go back and listen to them on the website, tieatnight.com, and Twitter as well as SoundCloud, and I'm losing my voice because we've been <laughs> doing so many damn shows. So, nonetheless, uh, listen, Merry Christmas to you and yours, wherever you are. With all my heart, thank you very, very much for listening to Tie at Night. Take care. This has been another edition of Tie at Night at tieatnight.com.